Okay, in this video, I'm going to talk to you about uh, maybe you want to take a file type out of Can or some file that you've made for uploading to Canvas or whatever. You want to convert it into a different file type, or maybe you have a different reason to use it. But uh, in the context that I'm going to talk about it, it's for the online class so that you can convert the old files, all these papers that you've gotten, you scan them in somewhere after, you know, being angrily doing your math homework and showing your work so I can actually tell if you've done anything. And then, um, not that you're not trustworthy, I just, I'd just i like to see your error patterns so I can help. But anyway, uh, you have them, and now you scan them in, and they're all JPEGs. And then you look at the weekly assignment requirement, and it says it has to be a single PDF document, because I'm a totalitarian, and I like to have that kind of control. Actually, it's because it's much easier to grade uh, in terms of, like, I can give you better feedback, because the Crocodoc feature in Canvas makes it easier to grade. Anyway, let's do it. I'm going to go into Cloud Convert. That's why I have the link there. Um, and you can actually link it to your Google Plus account, or your Google account that you have uh, through the school. If you don't have one, like you're watching this for some reason outside of the context of the class, you can log in anyway. But I, you can do it with Facebook, I guess, or Twitter. But I'm going to do it with uh, Google because it has a drive component to it. I, unfortunately, you'll just go here and click on this and eventually it'll flip over. I have like a billion Google accounts, so I'm just going to use the one for here. Hopefully I remember to overlay some privacy so you don't see 50 other email addresses that I have. Anyway, I want to accept that they can have offline access to my information. Because the NSA already owns everything about you anyway, stop pretending like you have important things that they don't already know about, because they do. Now, from here, I'm going to select my files. If I'm going to pull them off the hard drive, I go to select my files. So if you scan stuff on your scanner and it's already on your computer, click Select Files. If you want to get it from somewhere else, like your Dropbox or your Google Drive, which you just linked, click on that. Now what I'm going to do is try to mimic that pulling images, but you can certainly do it with different PDF files. Like say you scan them in as PDFs, that works too. Um, what I'm going to do is actually pick different types of uh, image files just so it matches up to what we said. I'll know it's mine because it has this terrible Avril Lavigne picture I used at one point for some discussion board. And I'll even, I pulled this PNG, so that's good. Now I select those, and I say, well, what, what file type do I want to convert it into? You know, any of these would have been available to me, in case you are interested in that sort of thing. Um, but the PDF is there. The other nice thing is if you hit this, you can change the size of things, or if you know that it's upside down, you might want to flip it over, just to make sure that everything is in the same direction, so it looks good. That way, when you have a college professor one day, you don't look like the kind of a person who would send three pages upside down out of your term paper. They don't like that, some of them. Anyway, from here, I've got some options, even more options. There's lots of options here. I'm going to pack all. I can send it into a zip file or some sort of compressed file all in one group, but that's not what I'm looking for for this assignment. Uh, I can convert everything to uh, a different file type. If I want. But what I really want to do is merge them all into one PDF document. So I'm going to do that and I say, sure, everything I need to be PDF. And you'll notice that they're like, okay, we're going to all do um, this is what the requirement is for this uh, setup. And I want to say, yes, send it to my Google Drive. I could send it to my Dropbox. I could have them mail it to me. But I want it in Google Drive because it's convenient there. So from here, I'm going to start the conversion. While I wait for that, I'm going to read about Portament Document portable document formats and what they mean, but I don't have to wait long because they're done. Now, it should have already sent it to my drive. Here's my drive. Oh, look, it's given me all these things because I've been fiddling with this for a while, so I'm going to delete two of them. Sometimes it gives you multiple versions because I click it a bunch of times on accident. I'm going to check it to make sure it's what I think it's supposed to be. I told you, see, Avril Lavigne lights the way. All this nonsense ends up in here, so I know that's the right order of things that I want, but I don't want to call it merge.pdf when I turn it in, so I'm going to right-click over it, and you can do that on a Mac, too. I'm using a Mac right now, so, you know, open up some action on your, your Magic Mouse. Anyway, change it to probably the name of the assignment. I think I made a fake assignment called Testing Testing, I believe, and then I'll add the .pdf end on there so it stays the file type I want. Now. From here, I can go back in and actually load it in as an assignment. I'm going to go to my modules, because that's where all this stuff happens to be in my universe. Go into testing, and then I can submit an assignment. I can uh, choose files from a variety of locations, 
add another file if I'd like to do that. But what I'm looking for is to find my actual uh, file. So the nice thing for me is that I, I, I was smart enough to link my Google Drive onto my desktop, which makes it easier to load stuff up. If you didn't do that, well, what happens then? You can't get to it. So what you'll have to do is just click on it and then, you know, download the file to your computer. It's, you know, you can do that here. Download it if you want. Um, so it'll be on your hard drive. But if not, if you go ahead and uh, put your Google Drive on, like they have the same version of it for the PC as well if you're not using a Mac. I have one of those across the room in case you're wondering. So choose a file. I'm going to go in. I'm going to pull that file out. And it's right here. And I'm going to say open. And I have to, it has to be in PDF format, and it is in PDF format, so I can submit the assignment, and it'll make it nice and easy for me to say, yep, that's, uh, that's well done, and it's turned in. I know the submission details are there for me, so now I've turned in my assignment that I had. I've converted all my little files into the exact format I, that I needed them, and all is right with the world.